There you go. It's live. Nice. <laughs> and we're live. Hey, we're live. <laughs> I've never done one of these, Keith. <laughs> so we're geeking out here. We are. I can't even speak. So Steve Raw here from the Bass Hang. Keith Stickney. Yep. Sorry, Keith no, Sticks. Keith Stickney. Yeah. All good. From Tsunami Cables. Absolutely. And um, he brought over. We're actually here at the Bass Hang yep. little studio, and he brought over his DI preamp. Yep. And we're just uh, gonna. Uh, Test out his. We're going to record right to Logic Audio through an Apogee duet. Yep. Uh, we're going to try an A Designs KGB. We're going to try a Ready, and then I have a Ventura also. And uh, yeah, so what do you? Uh, so this is what is this that you're? Yeah, so basically it's the preamp circuit out of the B15. Okay, the Ampeg um, B15. The Ampeg B15. Yep. Okay. So it's the preamp circuit, um, and this is like. Early '70s. There's lots of versions of the B15 as a you know started. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. But this is like the early '70s version. Okay. So um, it's that preamp circuit. Um, it's got one um, 12AX7 tube in it. I see it right yep. there. Cool. Um, basically, you have for controls, you have volume, treble, and bass. Um, you know, unbalanced obviously in yep. input, and then out of the back, uh, which you can't see, has a balanced output as okay. well as an unbalanced like instrument. Um, output nice. so that you can you know use it more like a tube DI kind okay. of idea, but um, yeah. So this is totally the prototype. It's kind of ugly, but <laughs> it works. And show the, um, show the people. Yeah, so you guys can show all the see it. people. There right. you go. Cool. Okay. And um, but yeah, so that's basically what it is. And we're like I said, this is the first prototype. We've already actually come up with uh, a few new changes that we're going to be adding to it. But okay. We wanted to get together and you know kind of test it out with a lot of other of Steve's. Nifty gadgets. Yeah, nice DIs kind of, and preamps that I have. Right, so, exactly. Cool. So that's the cool. that's the that's the gist, man. That's the idea. There we go. And awesome. so basically, what we did is we took my '68 Jazz bass, which <laughs> I love this bass so much. It's very nice. And we went into I just recorded a little loop, like I don't know, four measure loop. Right. Kind of, you know, kind of digging in, playing not so digging in, right. quarter note ish, kind of basic, up high and down low. Right. Uh, so basically, I played a loop, and it's going to be the same thing through each DI recorded right to Logic Audio. Yeah. So that's it. Just so that there's no simple. It's simple. Right. I only played one time. It's going to be the same signal path or signals right. through the same thing. So absolutely. yeah, with this bass. Yeah. Which I really like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can't, <laughs> can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So, um, and for the live, and actually, we're actually recording a real video, but right. I decided to kind of go live. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of. <laughs> maybe dead time, so I apologize because right. we're going to be switching back and forth, but I figure why not broadcast it live. Absolutely. Let me just see if uh, yeah, it's a shot. If it's, uh... Hey, we got three people watching! Yes, three people. Oh, oh now so I'm so nervous. So yeah. Now so I'm scared. So it's my mom and dad and one of your other... Yes, yeah, so my mom. And we have Quentin. Yeah, we have yeah, Quentin the... <laughs> right there. So, all right, so let's try this. So, um, uh, we are oh, basically oh, in channel one. I'm going to hit record here. Let me, uh... So let's get a level, and let me... So we're going to listen to Logic Audio now. It's 
fast, mm -hmm. it responds quick. So you have a tube in there. Yep. So usually a lot of people say the tubes are a little slower. It kind of takes a little time for the signal. Right. But I'm not playing this per se right now, but when I was playing it earlier, the attack it felt great. Right. It felt instantaneous, it felt pretty quick. It didn't feel like I was lagging. Was really lagging which yeah. sometimes tube stuff can be a little bit right. slow. Okay. Which That's I don't find that with this. It's nice, it's fast. Yeah. And Quentin agrees. Yeah. So we'll listen again. Yeah. And I think this is where I start messing with the EQ yeah. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I lowered you have lowered the gain a little bit. And I'm just for the live people, this is literally just going through the phone. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. There will be a real video up. I just figured it would be cool live. So Sounds good, man. That sounds nice and fat. So I am going to label it Tsunami. So um, for the people that don't know, Keith is the owner, operator, maker of Tsunami cables. <laughs> yes. Makes amazing. That's what. That's what we're using. Basically, <laughs> I use for live. I use in my studio. You'll see they're all over the place. They just work. They work always, every time. They're just really incredibly well made. You're making me some more cables too right now. Yeah. Thank um, you. So his idea is to make a preamp that will work for a lot of different instruments too, right? Not just bass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well this one I mean is obviously geared towards the bass player being coming out of the B15. Okay. But we have we're we're in the works of working on a guitar one as uh, well. Oh, that, so rack mount, rack mount guitar. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm going to switch over. You can keep talking. Yeah, absolutely no. No worries. And so um, and this is again this is uh, the the first real version of it. Yep. And, um, so check that out. Yeah, so this is really the first version of it. Right now, as you can see, it actually has the power supply is on the ground. You might not be able to see that, but um, yep, yeah, there you go. So that's the power supply, and it's just ran into this cord here. Um, the final unit will actually be one full unit that'll have the power supply into it, so it'll all be one unit as well. Um, but yeah, so this is just basically proof of concept, making sure that it's something that is valued in that bass players like Steve and a handful of other guys. Yeah. Give, yeah. Give it the thumbs up and, and like it. So um the <laughs> Quinton agrees. Yeah, Quinton yes. likes it. So <laughs> so uh but yeah so that's basically the, the idea. Uh, we are gonna be coming out with a early sixties B fifteen version as well. Nice. So that'll be another preamp that you can get. Um, that will be the early sixties version. So cool. um, that'll be the, the next one that we're gonna be coming out with. And uh, we'll have, for those of you guys that are going to be at NAM, uh, make sure to stop by our booth. Yeah, Tsunami Cables. And, um, yeah. and we'll have them there so you can check out actually uh, uh, firsthand. You can check them out. Live. Yeah, it's exciting. The, the, little, the little bit of test, like my benchmark, and I know there are some people watching, so I want to say hi to Nick Montu, Kirk Burkhart, Jennifer, nice. Elena. They're all watching, so hi, guys. Hi. I have not checked. There might be more people, but those are people. <laughs> so Kirk, I know, uh, and, and myself, and I know you too. Huge, just fans of Pete Montesi and right. and A Designs. The right. Ready, yeah. I mean, just makes great stuff. And I, I will say, it definitely, it, it's you're in the right place. Thank you're you. going in the right place Appreciate because that. we, yeah, and you'll hear it kind of, even though it's on the interwebs, it might not be as crystal clear and right. audio file wise, but it's definitely in that Ready realm, which is right. great. You can't go wrong. So right. exactly. um, I'm gonna get the signal. So now we're gonna try the KGB. So the KGB is Pete Montesi's. Um, box. It is KGB. KGB stands for Keyboard, Guitar, Bass, One Tone Filters. So it's basically a preamp DI that he made that works for guitar, keyboard, bass. Not just bass, but it's all around. It just right. works great. And I know Kirk has one, and he really likes it too. This is solid state. I was just gonna ask. Yeah, so that's solid, solid state. state. Right. Not too no good. two. Cool. So again, um, I'm gonna get our signal here. So again, probably a lot of so. So I will say this too. Nope, sorry. <laughs> too many inputs and right? <laughs> things going on. Like, what am I pressing? Too many buttons. Too many buttons. Um, your your preamp works at a mic level, right? Which is great. That's what the Ready works off of too. Right. The KGB actually, you have to either go minus ten or plus four. Okay. As in, like real, studio. like studio stuff. Right. Mic DI like the Ventura. Right. So that's what I'm. Uh, right now, with the KGB, I'm at the minus 10. 
Gotcha. Okay. So my input is being dictated by this, not by my preamp on my Apogee gotcha. duet. Makes sense. Nothing better, nothing more. It just I, is what it is. Yeah. yeah it. So let me. I'm gonna unplug that. I'm gonna unplug my tsunami cable. <laughs> and again, if you're just joining us, I looped with the 68 jazz bass. Yep. So just kept it pretty much just straight ahead. Nothing fancy. Nothing. Well, I think it's fancy, <laughs> but. I think it's pretty rad. A little fancy. It's a little fancy. That's what I wanted in the shot. Cause <laughs> right, it is a little fancy. It's pretty rad. Right, All right, there we go. Look at that. 68 jazz bass. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to get... So the KGB being uh, solid state is really snappy. Like, yeah. incredibly just... Just exactly what you play, it puts out. Right. Which is great. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Just is what it is. Another flavor. Right. Absolutely. Nothing better, nothing worse. It's right. just a different thing. Especially when you start getting to these levels of DIs and preamps. Right. I mean, right, 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 right. you're not dealing, you're not dealing with just this. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Right. But it's it's not in the realm. Same in the realm. realm. Right. You know. This is definitely better than just your standard hundred dollar box, black box, black box. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, there's different levels of stuff. Right. So let's. Uh, so we're recording there now. Let's again just going through the looper. This does have tone filters, so kind of the same thing that we can do here. I can pull back the bass. I can raise the bass to flat. Cut the mid, raise the mid, raise my highs, cut the lows, or cut the highs, sorry. So flat, there we go. Signal wise, I may have this just a little hotter, but we can always fix that, but I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. I, I may have had the gain a little bit more on this, so. No worries. Excuse me. So we'll stop that. So I think what I what I hear right away, it's just a little bit, a little bit quicker, being that it's all solid state. Right. So that's the KGB. And then we'll mute that. We'll go back. Let's listen to the tsunami. A little rounder, yeah. So and I'll pump it up a little bit. So a little bit rounder, yeah. warm. You yeah. know, warm. this is still has that warmth, that circuit warmth. Right. So now it sounds good. I think both sound good. Just depends right. on what you're into. Different flavor. Like Different flavor. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. I dig it. I dig. I dig it. I dig both of them. I want them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna put KGB. All right. So there's two. So now third. Let's do the ready. Okay. So the red DI, the ready, Pete Montesi's box has become kind of like, it, it's it's a cult classic. Right. I mean, almost every studio out there, yeah, everybody has it. Everybody's got it. Red DI, it's become, it has a cinematic transformer. Um, yeah, it's just, it's awesome. So yeah. I'm going to plug it in while you, entertain the folks. Entertain, entertain them. them. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to do with entertainment. It's You're doing cheap, great. Cheap tricks. Yeah, no, I like it. Juggle, do something. All right. I love it. I need to have, I need to get some form of, um, like a patch bay. I'll say like a switching yes. yeah, patch bay. Switching yeah. Device. That was quick. That, that was, good. was, that was yeah. pretty good, right? I didn't have to do that. I've been doing this a couple of times. Right. A couple of times. <laughs> so the ready uh, operates at a mic level. Right. Which, okay, so I do a lot of, you do a lot of gigs. Yep. We do a lot of gigging. If I take the KGB, 80% of the time, 70% of the time, I can't use it because the sound guys will say it's too hot. Right. And I try to tell them, like, okay, do you have a pad? Can you go minus 10? Can you go plus 4? And they literally look at me like, yeah, blanks there. what are you talking about? Right. I, and I love the KGB. It's just such a great box. But it's it's almost too hot for some stuff. Right. So that's why having something that's mic level for me, and I've talked to Pete Montesi about this, where I'm like, look, I'll take the ready before I take this most of the time because it works. All the, I mean, they both work, but you run into sound guys that right. don't know gain staging. It's like you have to. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know how to handle that. Right. So it drives me insane. Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> and I'm sure you guys out there, there's, uh, there's maybe one or two. No, there's some that will watch. There's a few that, that run into this quite a bit where right. your sound guys are just, he, he, like, really? Like, how? Yeah. Ah. So, right. anyways, I, I think it's a good idea that you're doing yours where it has a mic. Mike, yeah. Mike Lowe. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna check. Let me see no if worries. there's any questions. Sometimes people. Comments. Yeah, exactly. Do a thing. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Hold on a second. General, cool stuff happening. Nice. Thanks, guys. Josh Han, Kirk. Do you have a close-up photo of the tsunami? Ah. Of the cable or of no the, of the, the box. box. Hey, let's Kirk. Hold on. If you're watching, Kirk, we're gonna do a close-up of the tsunami box. So. I will say right now, it's ugly. <laughs> Hopefully, you want to see in the back. Yeah, oh, I don't right, know huh? if I'm in shot or not. Yep, you're in shot. Cool. Yep. So, that's it for now. Like yeah, I said. Volume, treble, bass. And then, there's your output as right now. Right there. So, it's quarter inch out and uh, DI XLR out. Yeah. Yep. And then, that's power. Yeah. So, and it will, the final version obviously will not look like this. This is, uh, this is just kind of. For now, what yeah. it looks like to make sure, you know, proof of concept and idea, but that's that's basically it as of right now. And Nick Montu is asking, when it'll, when will it come out? So you're thinking NAM? Yeah, so we're, we're actually working on getting a, um, the, having the final version out before the first of the year, and then um, probably looking at doing like a crowdfunding kind of idea, like a pre-order nice. crowdfunding kind yeah, of deal. Yeah. And then, um, and then at Nam we'll have the, uh, the we'll actually have them at Nam. So that's that's the cool. as of right now that is the goal. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kirk said he liked the look. I like the look too. It, it it's it's cool, man. Yeah. I like I mean, it's I like the lunchbox ish looking type of right. thing. That's more. That's I rad. think that's more of what we're gonna go with. Yeah. It's kind of the lunchbox idea, kind of similar to the ready with the cool. handle. Cool. Um, but um, yeah, just to get the power supply built mm -hmm. into it. Um, the, really the main reason right now yeah. with having a separate power supply was we were not sure if we were going to go with this version, especially okay. of the B15. Okay. Um, Got this it. was going to be something we wanted to do and if you guys would like it, everybody liked it. Yeah. So this will be one that we're going to be nice. doing. And then the, the, the other B15 that we're going to do, the mm -hmm. early 60s version, will just run off this power supply just for this as proof of concept. I, Once we get to done, it'll be the full thing. I think portability pack. is a huge thing. Absolutely. Because... Yeah. I love the ready, but when I travel, sorry, with the ready, I use this. I'm sorry, you're good. You're good. I just broke everything. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, no, see you're how good. I, you're good. I broke the prototype. It's no. good. You're good. <laughs> so, and this is a little dusty, but this is a Pelican case that I use right. to carry my ready. Yeah. I mean, it. I'll carry it, but it is big. Right. It's yeah. big. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, going into what the gig, you have you know a base or two bases. You've got that. You got if you're, yeah, you know, pedal board, whatever else you got. It's, People it's, take that into consideration, right? So yeah. size matters, matters sometimes. Absolutely. Convenience. So absolutely. Absolutely. I think having it, you know, yeah, portable. Yeah, portable is a, is a huge thing. All right, so now let's. Uh, so now we're in the ready. Going into the ready. Ready realm. Uh, and oh, sorry. What? Hey. So I'm at 12 o'clock in the ready, so right at 12 o'clock on the level. So, all right, oh. too many buttons, guys, too many buttons. <laughs> I love it. Too many buttons. All right, so I'm going to record the ready and... Ready being recorded, and we'll listen back. I actually, the ready and the tsunami box sound pretty similar. Yeah, the ready almost has. We'll listen back, but has a little bit more of a scoop. Where the the tsunami has a little bit more of a mid range punch right away. Which you can dial. The nice thing on the tsunami, you can dial in and out. So. Go back, boom, and we'll listen. So that's the ready. And then let's go back and mute. Now let's listen to Tsunami. I'm going to 
raise it a little bit. Gain wise. Let me start over again. Sorry guys. It's tight. It's a nice tight sound. Tsunami, go back to the ready, and again, I may have had a little bit of, let me see. Yeah, a little rounder. Yeah. Just, this is what it is. So, and I love the ready. Right. Love it. I know you do too. You play with a lot of people that use the ready. Your tone controls sound like you can get to that, to the ready round, which is great. Nice. Okay, so then, KGB. Good too. Maybe not as warm as others. You can say the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So it sounds good. Right, all right, absolutely. And now, and the other thing yeah. too is, I mean, if you were to take any one of these, if not if a few of them, I know. Plus, you know, uh, you know, Mike's cabinet. You know what I mean? You've yeah. got four or five signals coming in, yeah. and you were able to EQ, mix, yeah. compress, all that through. I mean, you'd get one hell of a bass tone. Yeah, it's super subjective. I mean, we're being right, 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 right. But I mean, but yeah. my what I was just getting at though is, you could take. Any one of these and mix True. them together. Oh yeah, you know, using multiple of them, yeah, not saying yeah. one's better True. than the other, but you yeah. know, mixing them together, yeah. you get some pretty killer, you know, yeah, fatty bass tones out I, of it. I could live with any one of those. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I'm pretty happy with them. So I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Do you want to do? Um, do you want to do another one? Sure. Let's see. Let's. Is that gonna be a pain in the ass? Or you no. That? No. 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 I can do the Ven the Ventura. Ventura. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, ba, 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 so instrument. And I'm not familiar with the Ventura. Who, who makes that? That's a design. So oh, the is Ventura a design. is gotcha. the mic pre one channel oh, okay. mic strip EQ. Gotcha. But I'm just going through the DI right now. Gotcha. So this is on a different channel. So I think I need to. Uh, bear with me, folks. Uh, input two, I believe. And let me just do. Oh yeah. See, I do know what I'm doing, guys. Oh, yeah, look at that. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I love it. So, so the Ventura is a complete, is one of Pete Montesi's raddest microphone preamps. So if I'm doing vocals, if I'm micing up something, that's what I use. But it comes, it has a killer DI also. So that's what I'm going. I'm going instrument in and using it as a direct. Yeah. But I can bypass it, and I can go through all the EQ. But I'm just going through the transformers, the input and output transformers. Gotcha. Um, but this, let me see here. So let me just mess with gain stage. Now I have. Too many buttons. All right, so let's record that. I think I'm close with the gain, with the input. So the Ventura is going to be very close to the KGB. Right. Solid state cinematic transformers, which I believe the A design, the Ventura has an input and an output transformer, cinematic. The KGB just has the output. Gotcha. I believe. Okay. So tight. Sound. You probably can't hear it through the iPhone, but right, it is what it is. Take our word for it. Take our word for it. Believe us. <laughs> Drink the Kool Aid. Yes, <laughs> please. Just believe it. Yeah. All right. Buy the shirts. Yeah, and buy the shirts. <laughs> buy the base hang shirts. And the Tsunami cable shirt, which I will be getting. Yes. I'm not wearing one. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's all good. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. <laughs> no worries. All right, let me, uh, Ventura. <laughs> I can't spell. Okay, so. Boom, and we'll go back, and we'll listen to this. I just have to say, the 68 Jazz Bass. Yeah. It's just...
growly. Oh, and DR strings. Doesn't suck. No, and it has DR strings in it. It doesn't suck. I think those are low riders. No, it doesn't suck. All right. I just like to show off my bass. Yeah, absolutely. Small. So, all right. Um, well, listen. <laughs> so, if we take that and we do the KGB. Oh, that was when I was doing You're the EQ. Yeah, yeah, I was messing with the EQ. So, hold on a second. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Pretty similar. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I had the gain a little bit hotter on the Ventura, but still, that's... Oh my. Those are super close. So yeah. now, let's see. Let's uh, mute that. Burp, and let's go back to Tsunami. And I'm running through the Apogee duet, if anybody cares. That's what I'm going through. All right, so that's the Tsunami, and now let's do Ventura. Lower that just a little bit. Yeah, again, it, it reminds me of the KGB, where right off the bat, it's super direct. Yours has, you can kind of get that little tubiness right, to it. Right, right. But yours has a nice, like, natural mid, too, which I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Tsunami again. I like it. And then I think we start messing with. I think we notice also when you back off the treble, it gets a little mid range bump, yeah. which is nice. And it can almost mimic, like you were saying, like almost like an upright thing. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Obviously not an upright. No, but very similar. But you can get close. tonality. Yeah, you get close to it. Cool. And that's where we backed off. Yeah. 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 Now we got some good DI and pre man. Yeah. Yeah. I think it sounds good. I think they all sound good, man. I mean, absolutely. I don't know. Get them all. Yeah. <laughs> buy them all. Yeah. Buy all of them. Yeah. Them. So, um, so yours is going to have a 12AX7. Yep. Um, the 12 x 7 the tube is going to be, the, the housing is going to be inside. It's not going to be outside, Yeah, right? the tube okay. will be inside. Yeah, it won't be inside. outside. And this is, yeah. obviously doesn't have the, uh, yeah, the, power, the power supply. supply. Yeah. So Will the output power a power amp if you want to use this as a preamp? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you could, yeah, you'd be able to do that. Absolutely. Which will be rad. Yep. And then we were talking input to somehow have it so that it will handle a mega ohm input or mega for right. piezos. Yeah. For upright, for acoustics, for yeah. different instruments. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. And then we're also cool. gonna be adding a um, a headphone output as well on the front. Oh. So you can run with the volume as well. So you can run headphones into it. So you can turn it on, almost use it just as like a headphone amp. Okay. You know what I mean? With good tone, everything else, plug it in and nice. you got tube, you know, like a tube headphone amp kind of idea. Um, for practicing, or just you know, mm -hmm. before you're you know, while, while the guitar player is tuning, sure, <laughs> you yeah, guess, yeah, you know, or whatever. And it's all going to be post EQ, so all yeah. this is going to be about like, yeah. Yeah, 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 which I think is a great idea. I mean, this is post EQ, I mean, yeah, so you can just kind of dial in some Absolutely. sound. You yeah. said there was also going to be a button for a shelving bass, yeah, so we're looking, yeah, like a bass boost to get yeah. a little bit more, um, yeah, like a shelf, a bass shelf, um, cool. So, yeah, that's that's the next idea. And then the power supply will be this style, no, it's actually going to be well, um, it's going to be the uh, Neutrik PowerCon, which is basically the same thing as a speak, speak on, on. it's a speak on connection, that's cool. So, it'll be that, so instead of the like IEC type, yeah. you know, plug, okay, it'll be that to a uh, to the regular three prong, very cool. You know, um, plug. So, it's not so proprietary that you can't get something somewhere, right? Exactly, you can get. One and obviously, you, you can get them at Tsunami Cables. At Tsunami Cables. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? Tsunami Cables. Right. All right. Well, yeah. cool, man. Well, that was, I, I mean, are you um, are, are you happy with the results? I know that's Absolutely. why you came over just yeah. to kind of, just to compare it, just to see if right. you're in the same ballpark. Yeah, exactly. And well, I think, yeah, we had it at the at the base hang. Yeah, um, at the Tsunami, tsunami base hang. hang. Um, what was that last weekend? Last weekend, yeah. yeah. Last weekend, yeah. yeah. So uh, and everybody there loved it. Thought it was, you know, thought it was great. And uh, cool. but it was kind of more of a live setting. It was a little yeah. bit more 
just loud and everybody's kind of yeah. getting a little crazy. So and we're all like, ah, ah, yeah, all shouting. yeah, <laughs> shouting at each other. And I think I told Tony to shut up a couple of times. So yeah. it happens. Yeah, um, Tony Paleo, you have to. Exactly. I'm just kidding. I just love that guy. <laughs> Anytime we can give him crap, we do. So um, we've been yeah. talking about him all day. It's right. just, it it's is. not good. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. <laughs> But, so, um, cool. All right. But, yeah, and so that's why I wanted to bring it here so we can have a little bit more of a controlled nice. environment. Yeah. You know all this gear because you're constantly Kinda. using it. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, you're using it all the yeah. time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was my main theory. Cool. Putting this in would give, you know, a really good idea of what's up. Yeah. And this is the first one we've got, you know. So it's wow. kind of cool that this is the first the first hit. Nice. And it was kind of a home run for us, yeah. at least as of right now. Dude, it's there. It. Yeah. So, um, I, I like the footprint. I like the, you know, so far yeah. I kind of like the look. I like that. That kind of slanted. Yeah. I like that lunchbox look. I think it looks yeah. cool, man. As some other people out there may say, the lunchboxes look rad. I like it. Yeah. So, cool, man. Yeah. Um, all right. Any other? Anything else to add? Let me see if anybody else has questions. Oh, yeah, Hold on. Sure. Because uh, let's see. Donnie Tesso. Bam. What's up, Donnie? Let me see. Hold on a second here. Uh, Doug's here tonight. This uh, ready sounds really good. Caught my attention. Absolutely, Douglas. The ready is killing. Yeah. Uh oh, what happened here? Um, uh, will the two be protected? Yes, Kirk. Yeah. It will be for sure. Um, so there we go. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, Donnie Tesso. Thanks, Douglas Dragani, killer bass player. Yeah, the ready is. It's tried and true. I mean, some of these things. Look, we're we are literally nitpicking right yeah we are dissecting this yeah. i mean you could take a little cheap di and it's poop in poop out if it's good it's good right if right, you're right. good it's good it doesn't matter but right. we're kind of really nitpicking so it, right. it, you know take it subjectively absolutely and really for me the, the main mm -hmm. reason on a production side and as a company side for this whole thing was yeah. i wanted to see if we were even in the ballpark you know, yeah, like that was yeah. my thing. Was like, yep. are we in the ballpark of the ready? Are, are you playing in... with the big boys? Exactly. Are you in that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because this is, I, I mean, so. we're a cable company, yeah. and this is we're taking that step going into yeah. preamps and, and amplifiers and that kind of idea. Nice. So yeah. this is kind of our first step. So I wanted to see where we're at, and apparently we are. So I think so, man. I, I'm stoked. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. all right, well, thank you for checking it out. Again, absolutely. thanks, guys. You know, sound quality wise, grain of salt. It. Right. I mean. This is going through an iPhone. There will be a video up with yep. actually better sound. Absolutely. But hopefully it was able to, I, I don't know, hopefully we were able to kind of uh, communicate yeah. the sounds. Right. You know, I, I don't think anything sounded crappy, so that's good. I think it sounded all good. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, man. So, oh, and also, so Keith Stickney, Keith Sticks, look him up, Tsunami Cables. What's, Tsunami the, cables. what's the website? Uh, TsunamiCables.com. It makes great really stuff. Easy. I have... You're making me more. I have them yeah. um, literally outfitted here. They just, yeah. they work. And uh, Steve Rawl from the Bass Hang. And absolutely. This is our first like live thing, dude. Cool. Absolutely. Nice yeah. job. Yeah. I think it was good. Yeah. So Check out the Bass Hang. Check out the Bass And check out Tsunami Cables. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Yep. See ya. Peace. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I need to turn this off. Hey, how do I finish it? <laughs>